Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to move TempDB data and log files. And in this particular demo, we'll be learning how to find current location of TempDB files in a particular SQL Server instance and how to move TempDB files to the new location and also the prerequisite what is required for TempDB to take new location. And uh, I can tell you right here, the third point right here, you have to restart SQL services in order for TempDB to take its new location. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, perform step first. So we're gonna go ahead and load our script. I do have a script. So file, we're gonna go load our script first up here the first script is to find what is the current location of your temp db files so we're going to go ahead and select this and execute this right now the temp dev and temp log temp dev is our data temp db uh, and temp log is our temp db log so we're going to go ahead and look at the location right now currently the location of temp db is right here this is the data location, this is log location. Now we're going to go ahead and move tempdb to our new location. The new location up here is C sys, SQL sys backup. This is my new location. This is just for the demo purposes. You can put any new location path right here. So we're gonna go ahead and run this command. As you can see, it has been modified. But um, if you take a look in there, right now there is no file created uh, in this location this is our new location but if we go and restart SQL services right here then it's going to create those two files uh, in our new location and we'll take a look once the SQL services started successfully All right, SQL services started successfully. Let's go in our new location and see. As you can see, tempdb and templog is created. Let's go ahead and verify from our system as well. And this is our new location. So basically, this is how you move tempdb data file and log file using um, a T-SQL script. I hope this helps.